Beth with Thimble Hooks. Thanks for stopping by. Another piece of my wonderful crochet hook collection. Um, this is my third Yarnology. Yeah, Yarnology, Yarnology, and there's a third one because I had pretty good luck with these. These are all from Hobby Lobby. I have reviews out on both of these. You should check them out. But here's the third one. This is just a tiny little travel set. It is Gypsy. Let's just give it a look and see what's in here. It says, I've got an E through a J, so three and a half millimeters to a five. So, let's see what we've got in here. Oh, I'm sorry, that's a six. It's really, it's a really weird font. It was a six, not a five. All right, there's six guys in here. Has a little travel pouch that actually closes, but this is cute. That'll work. Let's see what I've got in here going to be some weird sizes, I have a feeling. There's a three and a half right here. 3.75. That's a hard hook to find. So that's kind of, that's kind of nice. A 4.25, which is another unusual one. A five millimeter, a five and a half millimeter, and a six millimeter. So this is very strange little set. It doesn't have a three, it does not have a four, it does not have a four and a half. It has a three and a half, a 3.75, and a 4.25. So no four, no four and a half. That to me is a little bit kooky. Hmm. I don't know. But we're looking at them. They're just basic aluminum hooks. Nice flat spot for my thumb. They're obviously not ergonomic in any way. Engraved right into it. It's not even engraved, I guess. This is raised. You can see and feel. This is a J10 six millimeter. It's written right in it. Right on there. I think I can get. I think it shows. I think it shows right in there. So you get six in a little floppy pouch. Would be great for travel. For Ten dollars. Not terrible. And that's full price. They go on sale often. It's only six hooks, but they are some strange sizes. If you were going to go out and try to find a 3.75 millimeter hook, you might have to spend almost that just by itself to get a single hook. But let's just give them one of them a try. I'll grab this for little 425. They're very noisy. They're just normal old aluminum. Let's give them a try. See if they're snaggy or splitty or anything. One, just do a few chains, and then I'm going to turn, go back down my chain with a few singles just to see my first impressions on these. The stitches are even, there was no snagging, didn't split my yarn, nice. This is a pretty typical, pretty typical little aluminum hook. No fancy handle, and there's nothing fancy about them. Ten dollars, six hooks, not a terrible price. Let's try, let's try another one. Let's grab this one. Let's grab the five. And give that a try. Let's see if I have two of them that both are unsnaggy. This one's a fun color though. It's kind of copper. That's a fun five. Let's see. Yeah, this one's not snaggy. No splitting. No snagging. No catching of any kind. Nice. Even stitches. Again, they're all this way. But now here's the true part. Drum roll. I need to have a drum roll. I don't have a drum. Brrr. Drum roll. Let's see if they're true to size. This is a, an H85 millimeter. So where's my five? Right here. This is my handy dandy little clover measurer. There's five right here. Let's see what we get. It is a five. True to size. Very cool. Very important. All right, well, I get a little bit of a brownie point for at least having a pouch. So 
this will travel very nicely. This little pouch will probably be fine. It's pretty compact, pretty flat, so that's good. Probably everybody already has a six, a five, and a five and a half, but if you wanted to fill in with some of these weird sizes, there's a three and a half, a 3.75, and a 4.25. That might make the set worth it right there just by having those unusual sizes. They don't usually come with anything like this one doesn't have any 0.25s and 0.75s in it. Neither does this one. Either full or a half. So I would say that this is probably a very good, a very good investment. So if you come up with a pattern that says get out your 3.75 and you don't have one, then you have to try to adjust a little bit. This one has one, so that's kind of cool. Yes, I would say if you already have a normal set of hooks, of just regular old aluminum hooks, this will help you fill in the gaps of some unusual sizes. This one could be a very nice addition to anybody's collection, especially at a $10 price point when it's not even on sale. This could be very handy. So, thanks for stopping by. Thank you for supporting my small business. Please subscribe to Thimblehooks and stop back soon. Thanks. Bye.